Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's me, Karen Rodriguez, bringing you guys another NBA 2K15 in my career, episode 45. And let's get oh, And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot. Wait, hold on. I gotta load that. I load that. Right. Manning the middle. Lillard attacking, and easy two points on the layup. And the layup just gift-wrapped right there. I mean, he had a clear path to the basket. And here is Rodriguez coming off a solid outing against the Lakers. And the rejection by Lopez. Three misses to start the game. Still trying to break the seal on that hoop. Lillard against Rodriguez. Aldridge dishes to Lillard. Just five on the clock. Here's Lopez. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Lopez has got his first points of the night. The Hawks have gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Rodriguez goes in. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. He can fly, can he? He'll make you forget he's a point guard sometimes. Yeah, Clark. when he does decide to attack the basket, Kevin, he can do it with the best mm. of them. And this is the time to attack with, with these two teams locked in such a close game. Here's Cephalosha. After the made shot from Rodriguez, pass to Aldridge. Nobody near Lillard. And a great assist by Aldridge as that one goes in. Lillard's got five. Boy, he's looked great so far. Offensively, looks like he's brought his A game. Horford with the screen on Lillard. Rodriguez. There's the killer two-handed slam. That could give him a huge injection of energy club. And, Kevin, that's exactly what they need right now. They've got to close the gap. Forget about that for a second. How about the burst to the bucket for a point guard? Boy, he can power those down. Here's Bazemore, defended by Batum. Rodriguez against Lillard. Rodriguez in the post. Good work defensively by Lillard. Trailblazers leading by five. He dishes it to Cephalosha. Inside. And Nicholas Batum, the bucket on the assist from Cephalosha. They've worked hard and created great chances for themselves in this opening quarter. Well, if they can match that effort at the defensive end, look out. Now here's Rodriguez, right now averaging 21 points a game. Horford has a wide open look, rebounded by Cephalosha. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. Lillard attacking to the wing on the left. Lopez inside, right now averaging seven points a game. Another shot, and it's good on the way up. Well, you gotta love his determination on the glass, coming out of the gate strong. The Hawks trail by nine. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They gotta find something, you're right. Now, tough call there on that illegal screen. He didn't look set to me, Steve. I thought that was a good call. That's in and out to Doris Burke, who caught up with head coach Terry Stotts, DB. He talked about the impact that Al Horford can have on a game and how they'll have their work cut out for them dealing with him. He said Horford's just a complete ball player. He does all the things you want from a big man. He can shoot, handle, and pass. He's always a tough matchup, but it starts with matching his energy level. Kevin will see if they have what it takes. Thank you, Doris. Well, they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. Well, and that's why they're on this run, guys. They're getting the ball inside and getting really high percentage looks. And here's a check of the 2K leaderboard and the top rebounding shooting guards has 10 games. And you look at Zephalosha, a terrific rebounder, fifth overall. You know, it's not easy to do what these players have done in that area, strictly because of positioning. Typically, as a two-guard, uh, you're going to be on the perimeter a lot more often than you will be inside. Yeah, but for all of these guys, you can point to their quickness as well as their superb instincts as to why they wound up on the list. I mean, you've got to have that nose for the basketball. Now, here's Lopez. Seven points in the game. Lillard, the pass to Cephalosha. Portland moving the ball around. 
Lillard attacking. Good, and Aldridge gets the assist. And it's seven points for Lillard. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. That could give him a huge injection of energy clutch. And, Kevin, that's exactly what they need right now. They've got to close the gap. Forget about that for a second. How about the burst to the bucket for a point guard? Boy, he can power those down. Now, here's Lopez. Right now averaging seven points a game. Cephalosia kicks to Lillard. Here's Lopez. And it's out of bounds. The Trailblazers able to retain possession here. Hawks on D. A 12-point game. Lillard with no one around. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Kevin, they've been playing with an awful lot of energy here, getting a lot of offensive rebounds. That's always an indicator of hustle and energy. Rodriguez goes in. Horford's it to Bazemore. And the pass to Rodriguez. Shot clock at six. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Payne gets a wide open look. A three-pointer no good. And here's Portland. They're on a 20-6 run. Here's Cephalosha. The shot no good. And Atlanta will come the other way. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. Well, Kevin, they constructed a, a perfect offensive game plan going into that game, and it was uh, quickly apparent how powerless the defense was to stop it. Powerless is a good way to put it, Steve. We're unlikely to see that many uncontested baskets again anytime soon. The Hawks have started out 0 of 1 from the line, missing their only other attempt earlier. Well, they've been a relatively poor free throw shooting team, about 72% as a unit. You know, I know that's an aspect they've been trying to address as a team. I mean, they've got to get those free throw numbers up and improve. And Portland making a change here. Martin has checked in. Now, here's Batum. He's coming off a 16-point game against Denver. Put in a lot of good work on the boards. That helped him, too. Cephalosia with it. He is guarded by McCollum. Portland no good that time either. Rodriguez goes in. Blocked. Horford kicks to Payne. Rodriguez outside. The feed to Payne. Three-pointer. Tries yet again. Horford no luck. Trailblazers leading by 12. Pass to Cephalosia. Here's Barton. Covered by Rodriguez. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I will be continuing with this one. Lopez a screen. Here's Barton. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. A shot by Batum. No good. Atlanta's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take it. Let's see some of the numbers here on Tabo Cephalosha. How last month turned out for him. He's right around five points a night, five rebounds, and three assists. And the numbers might not reflect it, but the effort's really been there for him. Mm -hmm. He's going to get rewarded soon enough if he keeps getting after it like he has been. Yeah, I'd agree with that, Steve. He's been unlucky not to have filled up the stat sheet more because his play has really been south. Here's Barton, right now averaging five points a game. No luck. Great D that time from T. Right from the start, they've been aggressive on the glass. Most of the rebounds seem to be going their way. And Steve, I think they are ready for the fight today. And that one's good. Corbett.
Rivers got his first two points. Trailblazers leading by 10. Barton dishes to Robinson. Feeds to Cephalosha. Here's Aldridge. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And an important part of every team's optimal ah. look at the hustle. Teague with the ball. Right now averaging seven points a game. Here's Mack. With four seconds on the clock. And that's a tough one there because he's wide open. That's a shot he expects to make. Here's Barton. The shot will not go. So as we end... Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And the Trailblazers have really been rolling, haven't they? And they set the tone there defensively with their shot blocking. So they've been really intimidating down in the paint area. You know, in the rest of the game, Steve, shooters will be looking around for the shot blockers because of what's happened in this quarter. On the court for the Trailblazers, Scott is out there with Batum. Then it's Robinson, then it's Damian Lillard, and it's Cephalosha in at the two guard. Batum, good. Here's Rodriguez. Now, here's Lillard. Batum passes to Cephalosha. Scott kicks to Cephalosha. He feeds it to Robinson. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Cephalosha dishes to Robinson. Already he's looking at his third foul. I think the coach will probably look to sit him down until the third quarter. The Trailblazers have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. Robinson hits them both. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. Teague the pass to Rodriguez. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Looking at how they stacked up in the league statistically over the last month, here's what the Trailblazers did. Second in free throw percentage. Third in three-point field goal percentage. And they're in the top ten in rebound. This is a team that does a good job getting on the glass. Yeah, I'm so impressed with a lot of aspects of their game, but particularly the free throw shooting that you talked about, Clark. Uh, this is a club that gets to the line. They're focused, obviously concentrate well. And I talked to the coach earlier. He, he mentioned how much they practice free throws each and every day, and it's obviously paid off. And here is Rodriguez following the three-pointer by Nicholas Batum. Millsap misses. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. Well, they've done a lot of things right, but I agree with you, Clark. Their rebounding is right there at the top of the list. Now, here is Zephalosha. They have a 22-point lead. It's the most they've led by. Back to Lillard. Batum wide open. He fires. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got three assists in the game. Rodriguez with it. Lillard picks him up. And Bazemore kicks to McCullough. Rodriguez goes in, and that one's good. Rodriguez has got 11 points. Portland leading by 22. There's the dish to Scott. Leans. Atlanta with the rebound. Rodriguez has got his third rebound on the night. Bazemore passes to Rodriguez. The second effort, he takes it up and lays it in. He's got 13. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the put back. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Well, guys, baddest one in the last outing against the Lakers was just a man on a mission. He dropped in 32 points, and in addition to his scoring, he also came away with a season high for rebounds. Just numbers that really jump out at you in a box score. Thanks, Doris, for revisiting what was an astounding performance, Clark. It clearly was one of those games that when we look back on his career, 
This game will be right there among the best ever that he's played. Well, he was in the zone from the outset. It was just one of those games where he was feeling it. Everything is, was going his way, and he attacked, and that's what I like. Once he knew it was his night, he just attacked relentlessly. LaMarcus Aldridge has checked in for Scott. Aldridge sets up the pick now for Lillard. It's rebounded by Rodriguez. Rodriguez has got rebound number five here tonight. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Lillard attacking, and it's blocked by Rodriguez. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one, drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Atlanta's gone one of two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Schroeder kicks to Payne. Here's Schroeder. Passes to Horford. Just five on the clock. And it's sent back by Aldridge. Rodriguez has checked in for the Hawks. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Yes, Kevin, Brian Shaw had some words for his team in that last timeout. He made it clear that their offense needed to run through baddest one. Coach is calling on him to play a big role in the offense for the rest of this game, to really be one of the key guys for them down the stretch. Being in the position they're in, probably a smart move to go to the clipboard and switch things up while we're still in the first half. Kevin? Thanks again, Doris. Lillard has been playing really well. He has 18 points, and he's knocked down a pair of three-pointers in this game, too. Well, they might want to think about setting a few more screens for him to try to give him another open look or two. Back to Teague. In the corner, Horford with it. Payne kicks to Teague. Good, he hits the jump shot. We've got 123 left in the second quarter. Dishes to Lillard, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Lillard's got 11 points in the quarter. His switch has definitely been flipped to on this quarter, guys. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Portland's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Crab, good. Crab's got his first basket. Oh, maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes like conducting an orchestra. Rodriguez goes in. Some solid defense from Lillard. I think the game plan needs to change here, guys, if they're going to get out of the hole because he is not helping their offense. Shot from 12. Here's Robinson. And he uses the glass on the layup. Robinson's got 10 points in the game. Just another outstanding play down low. These teams couldn't be farther apart in their effectiveness in the paint today. Yeah, that's right. It's been all good at one end, and we'll try to be diplomatic here and just say not so good at the other. Lillard dishes to Barton. Robinson inside. Lillard outside. Six to shoot. And it's blocked by Rodriguez. They recover it. Good. To halt the run, no good trying to beat the buzzer. And so Well, you certainly have some ground to make up in the second half of this game. Where do you guys need to improve as a team? 